a very good morning team this is amir mustafa in this video we will understand msn event bridge and why is it used so mainly if our application requires cron job by cron job we mean we uh, we run a script in, after every certain interval of time say in every 24 hour we want some thing to happen some file to transfer to another location so this service will be very helpful there are more more uh, facilities we can do with this service let us check this one by one so ec2 instance suppose uh, if there are multiple multiple instances application is running and if somehow the application fails in that point of time we should get notified that your server is down or it's terminated so if if user will know it then they can go and uh, check the issue this is the second use cases another use case is uh, triggering event suppose uh, if i am a root user and i have multiple i am roles also means uh, multiple role without with less access so if someone tries to uh, log in with the root user Uh, notifications should be sent to the to me so that uh, uh, i can check yeah that i have uh, used it so this way it will be very helpful and uh, uh, we have given seen three example but there are many more cases in which this can be events this can be implemented let us now dig deeper and check from console how to apply this So there are two ways this uh, we can go to this service. Uh, first, it by CloudWatch. CloudWatch event was introduced first, and uh, later, later AWS has rewritten, not rewritten. They have extended more features to it. and the second way is directly search event bridge from here if we go to rules we see cloud watch is now event bridge a second way is we can directly search from here itself this one we will be creating rules so we will be creating uh, we'll be seeing three rules uh, created first one will be cron job click rule and cron job lambda we can uh, connect cron job to any any service but uh, uh, let's take lambda as an example suppose we have lambda uh, already created and we want to execute that lambda script on every every one hour so from here we select schedule so there are two ways in which this can be done either uh, uh, most of the time uh, if they are complex they give us a cron expression we just copy paste and it's done or we can set that uh, <coughs> so we have minutes hours and days we can say that after every one day this can be done and sample events okay and nothing nothing more need to be configured for this one because uh, one second one more thing lambda we search okay what we what we have done first we have selected when to trigger this event 
after uh, what frequency of time and the second what to invoke so we want to invoke lambda other than this see we have uh, multiple multiple things running we can select so we can choose any lambda function if we do not have a lambda function then uh, we can just create a demo lambda which is provided by default and we click create now our lambda this will trigger in every 24 hour script this is the first rule second rule let's create another rule and we name this rule okay this is for root user so let's notifications root login alert okay so for this we'll choose event pattern predefined by service all event service partners so many a times we see you know, that there are on-premise service, some are AWS specific service. So they provide features for every possible scenarios. So we'll choose AWS and uh, AWS console sign-in event type sign in event so uh, there are possibilities that uh, uh, we can choose any user or we can set specific ARN specific users ARN is the IDs now for this we can choose SNS topic let's choose example now SNS is mainly uh, mainly uh, used for notification sending notification we can go to SNS and create one let me this one So uh, I'll share the video, uh, I'll share the link of the video created, uh, it's a very sh short video that we can uh, configure email and uh, save it. Now uh, once we configure over there, uh, we'll get example over here. Let me try to quickly create one. Okay. See, over here we need to create topics. okay we go here see this example is visible over here we go to create topic we can choose any plan say notification whom to notify say notification anyone I'll say notification to Amir and we can choose anything okay create topic okay we create subscription and uh, over here we put email amir mustafa at the rate example.com this one is a test email and create create subscription done
we go to topics notification to amir and whenever we publish any mail mail will go to this user this much only so what what we are seeing over here is that now this will be available we need to refresh this once let me copy this name for more detailed check uh, please please check the uh, sns sns concept once we have lots of uh, features to send notification over there we'll copy it event pattern predefined aws console sign in sign in events see sns topic we choose notification to amir now now user can see from here add create so whenever a user will log in with root account will get a notification the account the email id with which we have linked another th third scenario might be can be that whenever uh, we have ec2 instance ec2 ins like notifications ec2 instance terminated ec2 terminated we click event pattern predefined pattern aws ec2 state yeah this one state change notification we can either uh, choose every state like uh, if it is created it is stopped or we can specific state as well like we click specific state uh, this is multi select so we can uh, choose whenever it is shutting down terminated stopping stopped when we uh, all these are happening at that time we should get notification we'll choose sns topic from here notification to amir and we click create so we have created three rules and there are many possible rules that we can create so all the alerts can be done using this event bridge and this is very handy for an application and uh, uh, when our work is done and uh, everything is done then we can delete it from here fail to delete cron change is not even event bus default Yeah, that's all for this video team. Thank you for watching.